Attachment parenting has really shifted mainstream American parenting because the ideas have kind of filtered down to every modern American parent. Lots of people breastfeed even if they're not into attachment parenting now. In fact, breastfeeding rates are at the highest level since the 1950s when formula was invented. Lots of people actually sleep with their babies in their beds now, up to 20% do that at some point, which is really, really a new phenomenon. I'm Kate Pickard, I'm a staff writer at Time Magazine, and this week I wrote our cover story um, about uh, attachment parenting and the uh, man who basically invented it, Dr. William Sears. So attachment parenting is um, a child-rearing philosophy based on the idea that you should follow your instincts and that uh, your instincts, as basically as a mother, would lead you to be very close to your baby at all times. So there are three basic tenets to attachment parenting. One is breastfeeding, and actually people that are into attachment parenting often breastfeed their kids until they're toddlers, until they're one, two, or even older. Um, another of the tenets is what Dr. Sears calls baby wearing, which is this idea that you should keep your baby close to your body at all times in a sling. And the third tenet of attachment parenting is um, what people call co-sleeping, which is this idea that it's natural to keep your baby in bed with you at night so that mother and baby are close at all times. So Dr. Sears wrote a book in 1992 called The Baby Book, and it's really the attachment parenting Bible. So the book turns 20 this year, so we thought it was a good time to go back and kind of see where Dr. Sears came up with all of his ideas. It turns out, actually, that a lot of what he's taught has been intertwined with his own personal life. Dr. Sears wrote um, the baby book and, and over 40 other books as well about parenting and pregnancy, mostly with his wife, Martha. Uh, and it turns out Dr. Sears and Martha both had really difficult childhoods. Dr. Sears was raised by a single mom. His father left the family when he was only a month old. And Martha, her father died when she was four years old, and her mother was, had a lot of mental health issues. A lot of people who are attracted to attachment parenting are kind of reacting to their own childhoods as well. Lots of the mothers that I talked to had difficult experiences or just kind of not super close relationships with their own mothers. One of the things I noticed when I was with Dr. Sears when he saw patients is how he's different than maybe a typical pediatrician. Um, one thing that seemed different is he doesn't take babies and put them on an exam table. He mostly does the exam while the baby's being held by the mother. With older kids, uh, he starts each exam by hugging the kids, but even if it seems awkward, it usually makes the kids smile and it just kind of diffuses the seriousness of, of a, you know, a doctor examining you. One piece of criticism that Dr. Sears has really fielded a lot is that he's, you know, anti-feminist, that you can't really be an attachment parent and wear your baby and breastfeed and stay up all night nursing your baby in bed if you have a job. Dr. Sears claims that attachment parenting is actually ideal for working moms because it's a, a way of, you know, being really close and connecting with your baby when you come home from work. But in practice, it can be incredibly exhausting uh, in a way that maybe doesn't allow some people to function enough during the day, get enough sleep to really perform well uh, at their work. You know, I think a lot of people get into attachment parenting feeling like, I need to do this for my baby. Um, but I think some self-examination would reveal that a lot of, it's, it's a lot of parents' own issues too that, that, you know, feed into kind of how they decide to parent. And the good news is that in the end, data and research has shown that a kid that feels wanted and feels loved is sort of on the right track. But there's no evidence to show that, you know, wearing your baby in a sling or sleeping with your baby is really going to change um, how they turn out when they're kids or later when they're adults.